when you get the friends thing, do you nail it right away? Is it like, yo, Joey Tribbiani is me. I'm gonna. It, was it one of those like they saw you and it's like you got the you got the job? No, I auditioned. Jeez, uh, I don't know, six, eight, ten times. I don't know how many times I had to go in. When you go in for the first audition, it's just like one person in the room, and they say, "Oh, okay, that was pretty good." Then you come back again. And there's two people in the room. And you come back. Then there's like three or four people in the room, and you, and you keep going back. And so it's it's more and more. And then it got down to the the network test, which is I don't know if you know how that or people know how that works. The network test is they they're about to cast it. Someone's going to get it. So they call your agent and they pre-negotiate your deal. Mm-hmm. How much money you're going to make, and everything, your whole contract, a five year contract at you know x amount of dollars per episode. And when you show up for the audition, you have to sign the contract <sighs> so that. And they're going to lowball you at the, in the beginning, right? Oh, because sure. they don't. You don't yeah, know if you yeah, got yeah. the role yet or not. But they also, it's a smart move for the right, network for them. because then you can't if if then you get in a position where you know they want you, you can't hold out for more money, right? You know what I mean? So they they kind of got you. But I think it also is an interesting tool for them because they put pressure on the actor to see if he can perform under pressure, knowing what's on the line here. So when I went in for the network test, it was between me and one other guy. And the other guy had like a cowboy hat on, a <laughs> denim jacket, cowboy <laughs> boots. And I was like, what if he has the same script as I have? Because right. <laughs> not your interpretation. Not, no, <laughs> we, we are, in my script. We are seeing different <laughs> visions. <laughs> Yeah, this so. is not what wait, I wait, hold on, hold on. This is this is this ends up being a big moment in your life, right? A changing moment in your life, mm. in your career. So that day, I mean, were you hyped up? Were you nervous? Do you remember anything about that day? Do you remember looking in the mirror saying, "All right, we got to kill it today." Come on, Matt. Well, yeah, there's a, a funny story. Is um, you know, I I knew about two three days in advance that this big appointment was coming up. So that you know, it takes about a couple of days to get the deal done and all that stuff. So. The night before the audition, I was talking to a friend of mine, and you know I was kind of amped up and had a lot of anxiety about it. And he said, "You know what we should do? The show you're going in for. It's it was originally called Friends Like Us, and they eventually ended up obviously calling it Friends. But he goes, it's about six friends, right? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, then we should go out and get shit faced (laughs) because we're friends. I was like, that's a great idea. (laughs) That's terrific. So we went out and we got drunk and I kind of woke, I ended up sleeping at his house on the couch. I got up in the morning and went into the bathroom and I had stood up too fast and kind of blacked out and did a face plant into the toilet and cut my nose on the bottom of the toilet seat. So I go in for this final audition with this big scab on my nose. Are you kidding, dude? And they asked me, whoa, what happened to your face? I said, oh gosh, that's a long story that started with too much drinking and uh, I'd rather not talk about it. And they thought it was funny. Right. I kind of put the room on my side in right. a weird way. So I guess. So you worked that to your advantage. I, yeah. At the end of the day, my friend was right. We, it was a good thing we went out and got shit. That's, That's incredible. Great, wow. Great, great story. Another good story. 